I'm gonna show you how to make this uh, nice creamy and fluffy chocolate mousse. It's without any raw eggs, so you can eat it even if you're pregnant or if you have kids. It's just amazing. Uh, so first we're gonna start off by melting mm, your chocolate. I'm gonna melt um, about 100 grams of dark chocolate and 100 grams of full milk chocolate. Um, I'm gonna use the water boiler method. I would recommend you too because you're gonna use the water boiler anyway later on. Then I prepared my biscuits, just some butter biscuits. I broke them up with my hand. It doesn't have to be super fine and uh, just like this is okay. And then I put one egg yolk and one whole egg into a heat proof bowl, quite a big one. I added in about um, 60, 50 grams of sugar. And then you want to mix, mix this up just so it's like nice incorporated. You don't have to like beat it, beat the eggs up. And as you can see, the chocolate is now melted. So I took it off the heat and onto the same uh, pot. You can add your eggs, egg and sugar mixture. And yeah, just uh, mix it up. You can also use a hand mixer. You don't have to do this by hand. But after mixing it for like five minutes, it should be like this lighter color and it should be warm to touch. The eggs should be like kind of cooked. They shouldn't be scrambled eggs, but you know what I mean. They should be cooked and not raw. And then you can add your melted chocolate and mix it all up together. And it should become this like glossy mixture. Um, you want to let this cool down for about 10 minutes. And in this time you during this time you just want to mix up your whipped cream 300 milliliters of heavy cream whip it up and then you're gonna gradually add the whipped cream to your uh, chocolate egg mixture you don't have to be you don't have to worry about beating out the air I just use a whisk but yeah it doesn't really matter it's gonna be fluffy anyway when adding all the cream it should kind of have this light color it should be nice and airy and just taste amazing In the meantime, you want to melt uh, about 50 grams of butter and add it to your butter biscuits. And then just add this into your glasses. Uh, this recipe made exactly six about 100 milliliter glasses. And then you can just add your chocolate mousse on top. You want to still do this while the chocolate mousse is still warm because otherwise it's going to set up at the fridge. And for like getting the tops nice and smooth, I just like wiggle around the glasses. And then you want to put this in the fridge for at least two hours and really let it set and firm up. And then you'll have this amazing chocolate mousse.